Hello everyone, welcome. Today's tutorial is very special. It's going to be about how to make this angel treetop. It's not just a regular angel treetop, it's a dog angel treetop. Meet Emmett. He was an adorable dog that is no longer with us. The inspiration came from a picture my daughter-in-law and my son sent me. It's a picture of the angel dog tree topper, and it's something that they found in Etsy. Someone is selling them, and they asked me to see if I can make one for them. And I took the challenge, and what do you think? I think it came out so cute and beautiful, and I love the fact that I can share with you how to make one. You can make this for any kind of dog or cat for that matter. So let's get going. Let me show you how you can make this as well. Let me first show you. These are the materials we're going to be using. I am just going to be using one of these. And these two for the eyes. I am going to be using the filler here for the head. And as you can see, I already have the pattern cut in cardstock. And I'm going to be using the thread. Uh, most likely I use this one instead of this one because these are too thin. We'll see. I'm going to be using the scissors. And as you can see, these are the pattern. This is going to be the body. I'm going to cut two of these and the same thing with the head. I am going to be using felt for the wings in white and for the body and part of the face I'm going to use brown and black for the body and the head as well and some of the details in the face and for this um, for the color i'm going to use this the red one and um yeah two of those two of the one of the faces so you will see how I, i'm just going to use this in, in particular just to know this the thickness of the color maybe i do something bigger just to keep it in proportion and this is going to be the brown as I mentioned it's gonna be black black and these little eyebrows in brown and this little piece of his nose can be black and this is the inspiration as I mentioned to you this is what my daughter in love and my son sent me uh, someone selling it at Etsy uh, but I figure I can make it for them and mail them to them because they don't live locally. Uh, the price for this is $115.99 and I am going to make it for a fraction of the price. Let's keep in mind that this is because I am a crafty person but I can inspire you to make your own as well. And that's the idea that um, sometimes you find things that are beautiful but they're not in your budget but if you can make it you might as well let's get started and cut all the pattern i'm going to cut two of these and i'm going to just go along the sides on the lines carefully making it a little bit bigger and if you want you can use tape so so the felt doesn't move and it's easier for you to cut all the patterns. Now it's time to sew the front and the back right here on the sides, leaving the bottom and the top open. 
we're going to go along the sides I'm going to do this side first let me show you how I'm going to be using a stitch called the blanket stitch I already started I put the thread through here this way leaving the knot in between the back and the front so the knot that you make to secure the thread it's not showing I'm going to take the needle from the back and then grabbing the top this way okay so it's you grabbing both the top and the back or I should call it the front and the back to make it less confusing <laughs> then you pull the thread through but not all the way you're gonna put the needle inside the loop here like this and then pull it all the way through tighten the, the stitch but not too much so that's how you start now making sure you're grabbing both the front and the back you're gonna start making the stitches and in this time you're gonna start from the front to the back okay grabbing both and again making sure that the thread it's here in this case like underneath the needle and then you pull it through what this is going to allow you is to have the stitch showing on the edge right here and then you're going to continue making the same stitch until you reach the end of this side let me show you again in slow motion how to do this stitch again putting the needle through grabbing both the front and the back and making sure that the thread is underneath the needle like this okay like this Perfect. So now I completely close the sides, attaching the front and the back, and here is the opening. I already tested and it works. The tree top goes perfectly on here. Now I'm going to add the head on the top, but first I need to put the front and the back of the head together. And I'm going to use the same concept. I'm going to use the same stitch to attach it. Let me cut this piece right here and then attach them both together. For the head, I am going to use polyfill to make it puffy and more realistic. So let's start making the blanket stitch all around the head as well. Let me show you again how to start. I already made the knot and the thread to secure it. I'm going to come here and I'm going to grab both of them, right? But before I start, I'm going to just grab this one and I'm going to make this stitch and leaving the knot here in between the front and the back. And now it start, I start on the back to the front, putting the needle through, pulling the thread, but not all the way. I'm just going to have a little loop here and I'm going to just take the needle through the loop. Now that I have a little opening left, I'm just going to put the polyfill and 
just close the head completely finishing with the same kind of stitch all around Now it's time to put it all together. As you can see, I already added the belly to the body using the same kind of stitch. Now I'm going to sew or uh, touch with my stitches here, the head with the body. I'm just going to use the regular stitches. I don't need to be fancy here as this is going to be covered with the red color after. So just do the best possible work here. Just try to be nice and neat, but it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't matter if the thread is showing because then again we're going to cover it with a color. Now as you can see I'm using this wood stick. I'm going to carefully take it through in the middle here because I don't want the head to be flimsy and also this wood stick is going to serve to hold the halo on the top. Okay now that I put the wood stick through I'm going to finish stitching the head with the body together and also making sure that I'm grabbing the wood stick so be secure and tight. Okay so for the rest of the parts I'm going to be using glue in some cases or I'm going to be attaching it with a thread and the needle. For example, for the eyes, I'm going to be using the thread and the needle. For the eyebrows, I'm going to just glue them. The mouth, I'm going to glue them as well. And the ears, I'm going to stitch them. And for the wings, I pre-cut these beautiful wing designs. I found it in Design Space in the Cricut. If you don't have a cutting machine, you can always just trace it in cardstock and cut just the regular size um, and shape of the wings. I am going to glue my design to the felt. This felt, it's very thick. It's thicker than usual and you want them to be a little bit sturdy and strong but at the same time I'm struggling trying to fit out fit it together so I decided to use this rectangular shape barred on the back and attached both wings on the back and that's it I 
Just suggest you if you want to do these wings in the way I'm making them. Perfect. If not, maybe you can sew them together. Before you put everything together, uh, but I think this works. I think this works really good. And that's it. What do you think? I think it came out so cute. My kids are going to love this when they receive it in the mail. I am going to let them know that I completed the project and I'm pretty sure they're going to ask me to send pictures. So I'm open to send them pictures before they receive it in the mail. Sometimes people don't like surprises. <laughs> so you see, now it's ready to go on top of their tree. I love how this came out and I love that they're going to have Emmet in Christmas on top of the tree. And here it is. This is a picture they sent me after they received it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Merry Christmas. Goodbye.